continues now with our headliner here today. If you would, please welcome a guy who has his team number one in the country right now. The men's tennis coach at TCU, David Roditi, joins us right now. David, come on out. Have a seat, man. You are, the thing I love about David Roditi is you are 100% fraud. You are all in. A great player, come back as a coach. You're a fan of every team. I got to say, do you own a shirt that is not purple? Not, no. Okay. I mean, it, it Maybe a white one. Yeah. That it's got a little purple or a gray one with a purple, but they all have purple. My closet is purple. It, it, your closet is purple. I yeah. love that, man. I knew you were all in. So, hey, congratulations. Number one in the country. Thank you. Thank you. It's pretty, pretty cool. I mean, we can't sustain it. We seem to lose every time, but, but it's got, all right. That's all right. We're, I mean, at least we're knocking at the door. Right yeah, now. I mean, you are. Let, let's be honest. This was, this was a top 20 program a top 20, top 20 foot program and had been consistently that. You've elevated it though in the last couple of years. This is a, this is a top five program now. What changed? Well, um, obviously being in the Big 12 was a big, big help to the program. Mm -hmm. We, back in the day when Coach Barton had it, we were, we were, when I was here, we were top six or yep, seven. You were good. Yep. Three out of four years that I was mm -hmm. here, we were 13th on our worst year. So we were good. Mm -hmm. And then once those years in the early 2000s, when we went from conference to conference, it, the, the program dipped a little bit there from about 2007 to 2010. It was, it was struggling, uh, probably 50 in the country or so. And, um, and then came in, brought some energy, got the fans involved, got the community involved. And then when Devin Bowen joined me in 2014, and got three top recruits, then, then that's when we made the jump. De Devin Bowen is uh, an assistant coach who is more than that to you. Yeah, I mean, he, he's also a horn frog. Right. He's 100% frog. Right. He's one of a kind. He's uh, super disciplined. He's the, he's the everyday accountability, keeps the guys in check, lots of work with them on the court. I can be, I can be me. Mm -hmm. I can fly around, be here, be there, mm -hmm. be everywhere, but the guys uh, are taken care of. But you, you guys are also great friends. Yes, we're, yeah. we're, we have a very interesting relationship. Right. I mean, people would be surprised, but it's, uh, you know, he's like an older brother to me. I went to TCU mm -hmm. because of him, basically. Mm -hmm. He's the one that recruited me. Coach Bartson was pretty laid back. And obviously I knew all about Coach Bartson. You couldn't find a person that said one bad thing about him. But Devin was the reason why I came. I knew him from Southern California. I've known him since I was 12 or 13. And sort of old, older brother, mentor. Uh, he helped me on the tour in my early days. So, and, and now we work together. So it's a very interesting dynamic, very interesting. I want to get the timetable right, kind of roll through it. So you, you grew up in Mexico City, right? Uh, Born well, in Mexico City, grew up in Guadalajara. Okay, Guadalajara. And then, and then you ended up in Southern California, which is where you went to high, high school. school. Yeah, yep. San Clemente. So, so San Clemente. So how did you make that move? Was that parents moved or was that strictly for tennis? It was actually, yeah, a lot had to do with tennis. Yeah. At the time, we actually lived in Manzanillo, which is in the beach. Right. Just below Puerto Vallarta. Oh, yeah. And there was nothing there. I was only going to get in trouble. Uh, and, you know, I have to stay busy. And there's not a lot to stay busy with right. other than trouble. So... My parents sent me to Southern California. My mom is American. I could have a, a citizenship right away. I had both passports growing up. Lived with a coach for two years without my family. And uh, it was to learning, to learn how to speak English mm -hmm. and to continue my tennis. And then I told my parents, I don't want to go back. So they moved to the US and brought my, my brother and my sister. And we stayed there all, they're still there. Yeah, yeah. And, and so how do you end up at TCU from there? So. Uh, the year that I was being recruited, 1991, TCU was two or three in the nation. Right. Uh, Coach Barton was legendary, and Devin Bowen, he's, mm -hmm. uh, he was the connection. That we had a couple guys from Southern California. He, him and his dad knew about me and who I was as a person, and they're the ones that kept telling Coach Barton, don't worry, I know he's short. I know he can't really speak English, but just get him in. <laughs> but he can play. Yeah, but he can play. He can at least try. He'll try. <laughs> He'll try really hard, right? Yeah. Uh, coach Bartson, Tut Bartson, who you've mentioned, the legendary head coach here. He was, um, he was more than a coach to you, though. Wasn't yeah. He? I mean, you guys went yeah. to lunch every week, and how how much do you miss him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's tough. Because I mean, he was, 
And it was just for you. He was a, a father figure for a lot of men, wasn't he? For, I, I think he, him and he, you know, it's a, interesting because he was always Barton, Coach Barton and Bonzo. Right. You know, so it was sort of a mother, father, maybe some grandpa, grandma. Yeah. Uh, my dad passed away my freshman year, right. so there was a connection. My dad was the same age. So, yeah, there was a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel pressure to be that guy to, to, to your players? That's hard to do this day and age. I, I mean, personality-wise, complete opposites. Totally. Yes. He but, but the never father, got in trouble. Yeah, but the <laughs> father figure, though. I mean, do you feel like, hey, I need to sometimes be more than a coach? Yeah, and I, I do play that role. Yeah. I, I do play that role. Devin's very tennis-oriented, mm -hmm. and, and I would say Devin's as, as good as it gets as yeah. a person. That, so he's built some amazing relationships. But, it, yeah, I do, especially with... We've had a, a few Latin players, right. and, and I'm just repeating what they say. When they leave, they, they do feel that I wasn't more of a, you know, that I wasn't just a coach. It was a uncle or father or older brother type. type. Yeah, I do believe in that. I do, I do believe that in college, between 18 and 22, there's a lot of growing up going on. There's a lot of trouble out there. There's a lot of distractions mm -hmm. out there. And so you, I believe as a coach in college, you, you better be that person because they're trying to find themselves and figure out the world, and I like to believe that I'm that I'm there for that. I think you are. You you mentioned the international aspect of it, and you've been able to develop a nice mix of both international and American players. And I know that you talk about that has been a priority. You want to recruit the best Americans too. A hundred percent, we do. Yeah, we, we have one of the best ones coming yes. in next year. Uh, Alex Rybakov was the the number one recruit mm -hmm. uh, in the U.S. It just happens that right now. We don't have any right. top Americans. Uh, so, yeah, we recruit them. Uh, there's a few reasons. I think the fact that recruiting changed the last three or four mm -hmm. years, players are starting to make their decisions earlier. Mm -hmm. They moved their recruiting uh, visits and all that a year earlier. And TCU is $75,000. So it's hard for me to give a 16-year-old 100% or 90%. Right. I c we can't afford to be wrong and give sixty thousand dollars to the wrong player so we go after the very 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 top ones and if we don't get them then we'd rather wait and see what what's available on in the international scene international players usually make a decision a year later mm -hmm. so it gives us time to get to know them better and take less risk with well, our scholarships it seems like it's worked out pretty good the indoor national championship that's a big deal i mean just to be able to hang that banner to say national champions means something. yes yes it is special it yeah. is regardless of what happens the rest of the year we right. we we could say that we won a national tournament first time for for a long time mm -hmm. obviously thought of coach bartson he was oh, yeah. so close so many times yeah and um and that's that bond will never you know it'll be great for this this class this year for them to share that for the rest of their lives. But still work to be done now in the outdoors. I mean, you, you, you We've got a lot of work to be done, yeah. especially if you saw us play uh, last Friday. Yes. There's a lot of work to be done. Yeah. We haven't had the, the reps that we want to. Weather hasn't helped, but uh, I believe we'll get there by the time uh, nationals come around. We, we start the Big 12 here uh, this week. Yeah. So yeah, we can't wait to get outside, get in the wind, in, in the wind, the heat, and get used to the, the conditions change. So we've got to yeah, we got to get out there and get the work done. Most important question of the day. Tell me about Max and Sebastian. What are they up to? Max and Sebastian, they're playing sports with yeah. the Fitzgeralds every second. <laughs> Shelly's the one that keeps me on track. It's right. like, what's baseball, football? What's today? Tennis now. Exactly. They did a little, played a little tennis yesterday. So, yeah, they're just busy, busy uh, learning how to write and, and read in Spanish. They yeah. go to a... Spanish uh, immersion program. Immersion program? Yeah. So they're they don't learning. get that from dad automatically? No, they don't want to learn the academic side for me. Yeah, they don't want I, to do that. Um, my mom lives with me, so yeah, she, she's the, the, the one that keeps them on track school-wise. She's a huge help. And, uh, yeah, they're doing great. Have we they're singled out a sport yet, or are we still going to no, play ball? No, they're still, they're still trying to figure it all out. They all say football. So Really? So maybe You'd be okay Sonny, with that, Sonny right? some. Yeah, you know, they, be okay with that. They, they went to his camp. Yeah. They went to Coach Dykes. I uh, like that. Camp, and uh, Max is... He knocked the kid Let's down, do so he's got some. He says he, he wants to be a, a defensive end. I like it. Let's do it. <laughs> let's make it. Let's make it happen. I don't know. I, Rodini we'll is a defensive the, end. We'll see what kind of jeans you know I, he might be. Uh, I like I it. Know. Where's the hat? The hat's in in the in the house. Uh, 
You know, those hats are they're nice. I want Uli. Chef does a great job. He does a great job. He does. So I gotta keep them in in the right place. I got I got scolded by him by the way I treated my last one. So <laughs> and now I know how you're supposed to you know preserve them. So they're they're well taken care of. I like it. It's an honor to have you on with us here. Thank today. you. Thank, thank you, you for Brian. doing this. No, it's been great. I, I thank love you. the fact. Hey, back and forth, number one. Keep going, man. Keep fighting. Get ready for Big Twelve now and 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 go win the outdoor. That's yeah. that's called a sweep, man. If you can win the indoor and the outdoor, right? Yeah, it would be. It would be. That would be amazing. Uh, a lot of work to be done. Big 12, top, yeah. top teams, Baylor, Texas, Oklahoma, they're all very competitive. But uh, the big highlight this year has just been the community. It's been yeah. amazing. All the turnouts All of great. you, the turnout. Friday was amazing. amazing. So I can't, can't be more thankful of our community, our people, our marketing department. It's been, it's been awesome. You guys okay? Players are okay? Need anything? You guys need anything as a program that we can help with? You always got a list, don't you? Yeah, I mean, if you have a, if you have a, a way that we can stay healthy every yeah. single day for every single guy and keep working, that would be amazing. Let's we'll see. We'll I, make a phone call. I know you probably would do that with every sport. We so. can do that. Thank, Thank you, brother. Brian. All right. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man.